Hi everyone, I am Tabitha Walter, Eagle Forum's political director, and I'm bringing you another Capitol Hill update. The Republican Nation National Convention kicked off this week, and I have so enjoyed listening to all of the speakers. They have brought messages of hope and reinforced conservative principles that help American families thrive in America. Anyone else revved up for the November election? Because I sure am. At the beginning of this week, President Trump released his second term agenda. It touched on policy, policy initiatives like ending our reliance on China, defending police, putting America first, and draining the swamp, among others. These are issues that we are dealing with today and looking for leadership on. Now, there have been some concerns about what was left out, like the life issue and our constitutional freedoms. These are very important issues, maybe at the very top of my priority list, but don't worry, Trump's agenda is not comprehensive. It's meant to go hand in hand with the Republican Party platform. So this year, the GOP had to dissolve the platform committee because of COVID-19 restrictions. So they voted to keep the 2016 platform for another four years. The platform has been touted as the most conservative one in history. While we would have loved for the grassroots to come together and update this document, we couldn't have asked for a better one to represent the Re Republican Party. It was even endorsed by both Phyllis Schlafly and President Trump. So what has President Trump achieved on these two issues that I mentioned earlier? We'd be here all day if I began listing them, but let me mention a few. President Trump is considered the most pro-life president to date. He has kept funding for abortions domestically and abroad, protected conscious rights, defended the Hyde Amendment, which forbids taxpayer-funded abortions, and has made appearances at the March for Life. During the convention, former abortionist turned pro-life advocate Abby Johnson went to bat for his record on life, saying these elections are a choice between two radical anti-life activists and the most pro-life president we've ever had. I support President Trump because he's done more for the unborn than any other president. And his stance on constitutional freedoms are absolutely solid. For example, when conservative voices were being silenced by cancel culture, social media platforms, and universities, his administration stepped in to stop that behavior. He has championed religious freedom by protecting prayer in school, partnering with in international religious freedom organizations, and giving power to religious organizations to make a difference in their communities. And our nation co nation's courts, including the Supreme Court, are so much more conservative due to the hundreds of constitutionally principled judges confirmed from the president's list of nominees. As you can see, these issues are far from being absent in his campaign, and they are actually consistently part of his administration. They are weaved into their daily actions, and they aren't going anywhere. So thank you for tuning in to another Eagle Forum Capitol Hill update. If you have any questions about what's going on in D.C., drop them in the comment section below. And you can visit eagleforum.org to sign up for our weekly emails and alerts, as well as our monthly Eagle Forum report sent straight to your mailbox. So see you next Thursday at 2 p.m. Eastern right here.